Helping young people impacted by gun violence. That's the goal of a new program started tonight by a local church after bullets took two young lives in Beaver County. Thank you for joining us tonight at 11. I'm Royce Jones. KDK's Lauren Linder is in Ambridge with more. In recent weeks, youth here in Beaver County have watched two of their classmates fall victim to gun violence. The incidents have left an impact, but a local church is trying to help and is why they gathered here outside Ambridge High School. I just don't understand it. I really don't. Liliana Nino is still processing the deaths of two 15 year olds in Beaver County. Shot and killed less than 24 hours apart. Kids? I mean, come on, it's kids. Two weeks ago, a 17-year-old allegedly shot Davier Sparrow in Aliquippa. The next day, an 18-year-old and another person allegedly shot a Sean Moreland in Ambridge. The district attorney says the shooters in both cases murdered the teen's execution style. It doesn't make me feel safe here anymore. So Pastor Rick Thornhill of New Hope Community Church in Ambridge decided to take action. We wanted to just say, hey, we're going to be here. We're going to be out. It's safe to send your kids out. Yeah, I on Friday, he and members of his congregation kicked off a new weekly program to try to help kids heal and stay busy. He can relate to them having watched his son-in-law get shot in 2020. And I know what it is to be scared and to be fearful. And, you know, I, I know that the sun will shine and it'll be a brighter day. With adults on hand, they gathered at the high school basketball courts where kids and parents enjoyed food, played basketball and soccer, and heard from speakers. I always found myself in positions that was hard to get out of. Liliana's mom, Chelsea, welcomed the event. I think we all need to come together and we need to really figure this out because this how it's going is not a way to live. Bringing some positivity to communities that have felt so lost. Once it like brings everyone together, people are going to think like, oh, maybe I can do this again. Like I feel like more safe. Right now, the plan is to hold these events every Friday through the summer, and the church hopes to continue them in some form once the school year starts. Authorities are still looking for a second shooter in the Ambridge shooting. If you have any information about what happened, you're asked to call them. For now, reporting in Ambridge, Lauren Linder, KDK TV News.